Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, here to deliver you today's gadget and tech news. Today's top community member is iGeekS. He used the free locker room app for iOS or Android to participate. Thank you. Should students be forced to wear RFID chips? Um, are the schools taking it a bit too far? Well, I guess it depends on what they're using it for. I mean, if it's all about safety, but then again, what about privacy? Ugh, I don't know. Would you want to wear something that would allow someone else to track you? World's most powerful laser could rip a hole in space and time. Yay, science! There's a super Earth planet that has been discovered to be made largely of diamond. I'm guessing women are going to want us to go there real soon. Is Microsoft becoming more like Apple? Now, I'm going to get back to this in just a second and geek out a bit more. But, uh, yeah, they are. And, yeah, it's a good thing. Surveillance, tracking brainwaves to protect our borders. With technology, it's getting better and easier, but now we're using it to do potentially very spooky things, like reading your mind. There's a map that charts global cyber attacks in real time. Here it is, the HoneyNet project, showing me in real time what's going on. Who still uses RIM products? You know, the last time I saw a Blackberry in the wild was at least two or three years ago. And uh, you, the user really, 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 really liked that product. So, you know, as long as they like the product and the product is doing everything they want it to do, I don't see a problem with people continuing to use RIM products. It's just that they're kind of in a minority these days. I, I see more people using uh, Windows phones than I do Blackberries. Have you seen Google's new field trip app? It allows you to more easily discover the world around you, especially if you're in a new city. What's there to do? Well, you pull up the free application. Currently, it's only available for Android, but they say that an iOS version is coming real soon. And I believe them. There are a lot of Google apps available for iOS, and I have every one of them installed. Best Buy said to match online prices. How often have you seen a great deal online and were told that a store would match prices only to be told that, no, they don't match internet prices? Well, internet prices are just as valid as non-internet prices for products. So it's good to see that Best Buy is taking a step forward. iPhone 5 usage surpasses Samsung Galaxy S3 less than three weeks on the market. It's an iPhone, after all. And that's not to say that the Samsung Galaxy S3 is a bad phone. It's not. It's a great phone. In fact, I hope to be doing a, a series of comparisons between the two. Uh, maybe even this weekend. Stay tuned to the YouTube channel for that. Uh, but... Yeah, it's the iPhone. Of course it's gonna sell well. FTC moving closer to Google antitrust case. Ooh. Windows 8 packaging and pricing revealed. Standard OEM starting at $99. Pro Pack, $139. Just seems kind of expensive for an OS these days. Our question of the day is sponsored by GoDaddy.com. You can use the coupon code GO20OFF9 as linked in this video's description to save 20% on your entire order there. And the question is from LockerGnome.net. B writes, Are there any good Netflix alternatives that you'd recommend? Sure. There's Hulu. There's Amazon. They have a video library as well. But I really strongly recommend that, and this is very, very strong, <clears throat> strong like bull, that you download applications that channels have released, like Adult Swim has an application, ABC has an application, NBC has an application, all these production studios have applications. Uh, download them. Go direct to the source, man. Okay, back to that whole is Microsoft becoming more like Apple thing. Uh, you know, for years, Apple kind of ruled the roost with experience. I mean, they offered the hardware, the software, and the service all in one nice package. And yeah, it's been more expensive than other options on the market. But of course, expensive is relative because, you know, what's the total cost of ownership? I mean, you've got, you know, a piece of hardware, but if the software doesn't work, how much would you give to have a great experience? How much is that worth to you? And in many ways, Apple has really been the only... I guess, provider of these consumer electronic experiences that has understood that it's not just the hardware with the software over here. It's, it's them together working in conjunction with one another. Microsoft finally gets this. I mean, they kind of got it before, but I mean, they really get it, especially with the release of the Surface or the impending release of the Surface. That will make them more like Apple, not the stores that they have, because, you know, Microsoft has stores that you may have been in. I've been in them before. Uh, nice stores. Uh, they're awfully Apple-esque in, in the way that they feel, uh, but it's still nice to walk in and experience the technology that Microsoft has enabled. It'll be even nicer to walk in there uh, to potentially even get service and support if they enable that in their channels, like 
you know, specifically their stores, you know, the retail uh, presence. So uh, it's good to see Microsoft moving this direction for consumers' sake. The only question is, how will their partners respond to Microsoft getting into the game that up until now they really weren't in? And speaking of winners, every one of you is already a winner because you're watching this video. Thank you for your support. We appreciate the questions, the comments, the time that you take to share the videos and the articles that we do for you with the people that you know, you know, sharing them socially. Thanks for that. We need that kind of support because without you, what would we be able to do? Nothing. So again, thanks for all these, your thumbs up, your likes. We love those to an extreme degree. Extreme! We'll see you later.